Comic book fans, webheads, this is 2022's Top 10 Comic Book Covers. Fans, this is week 31, but before we get into it, I just gotta give a shout out to the sponsor, Mutant Beaver Comics. Mutant Beaver Comics is a global leader specializing in exclusive variants with over 900 exclusives in their store. They ship worldwide on a daily basis. Their mandate is to offer the widest selection of exclusive variants on the planet along with top-notch customer service. If you guys enter promo code CORNER10, and not only can you save 10% on your first purchase, but every other purchase after that. So don't miss out on those exclusives, MutantBeaverComics.com. So welcome back. This is the video series where each and every week I share with you my favorite top 10 comic book covers of the week, and you get to vote on your favorite one. So by the time we get to the end of the year, you will also have a final say on which comic book cover gets that all-important title of comic book cover of the year so let's get started let's find out who won week number 30 and week 30 was a battle between the amazing spider-man issue number six and something is killing the children issue 25 that one in 25 unlockable variant but it was a tie so when it comes to a tie it goes to the higher ranked cover and it wound up going to the amazing spider-man issue 900 or issue 6 whatever you want to call it with spider-man and all of the villains on there so congratulations it moves on to the next round all right so let's kick off this countdown with number 10 and number 10 winds up going to the dead lucky issue one this is the ivan towel of variants now the dead lucky is a new series getting ready to kick off it takes place in the radiant black universe and this character is, there's not much known about her, but she looks pretty badass. I love the colors. I think that's what makes her pop. She's got this skull-like helmet and whatnot. Her powers look pretty cool as it's like this, kind of like this electrifying stuff that's falling out of, coming out of her hand or whatever it is. Whatever the case, it's cool. I like the cover. If you like it too, make sure you vote in the comment section below. And of course, guys, no more than one vote per person. If you don't like any of the other top 10, you can vote on your own, write it in. It could start to trend and overtake the other top 10. But now we're moving on to number nine and number nine goes to a creepy cover. And this one is The Closet Issue 3. This is done by Gavin Fullerton. This is the main cover. The Closet is a creepy series written by James Tynion IV about this boy who's afraid of monsters in his closet. But there really is a monster in his closet. It like teleports to wherever the house that he that he's living in. In this cover here, we get to see what you would think is the kid's dad, and he looks kind of like that monster. So is the kid's dad the monster in the closet? Is that the way he views his father? I don't know. We'll see. But that's a creepy and scary looking cover all right next coming in at number eight this one goes to spider-man 2099 exodus issue five paying homage to spider-man issue one to obviously todd mcfarlane this thing is almost to the t when it comes to this cover the only difference is it's got spider-man 2099 on there you got the torment on there you even got old school spider-man in the bottom corner box you got old school todd mcfarlane spider-man in the top corner box i mean everything about it is the same except spider-man 2099 and uh the logo it still looks cool it doesn't matter which freaking spidey character you put it on i'm always gonna buy it every single time i'm a sucker for it are you all right coming in at number seven we have spider punk issue four for the clark variants it's another spider book on this countdown spider punk is a cool looking character however inside the comic is a completely different thing this just looks awesome you get to see spider punk wailing on his guitar man you get to see which looks like i guess that's the the plug or whatnot plugging into the spider punk logo uh, it just looks great man you get the spidey um signal in the background also there great looking cover i would love to have that spider-man guitar as well all right, coming in at number six for all the Harley Quinn fans, another week with Harley in there. This one goes to Harley Quinn issue 18, the Rob Siski variant. I don't know if I said that name right, 
But this is a pretty cool looking cover, man, as we get to see Harley, which I think... I don't know where she's sitting. She's sitting in a padded room. She's obviously talking with somebody in there. I don't know if it's the Joker or not. We get to see broken pencils. We get to see paperwork in there. She's looking kind of sexy. She's got the glasses pointed down in there too. Love how her outfit is the black and red. Goes with her colors. Nice looking facial expression too. If this is your favorite, let's make sure you vote for it. Moving on to number five. Whenever there's a Harley... There's a Poison Ivy, and this one goes with Poison Ivy issue three, cover B, done by Joshua Middleton. This is the cardstock variant. Man, let me tell you, this is as realistic as a cover it gets. Here we get to see Poison Ivy front and center, and she just hypnotizes you with those green eyes and that red hair. She's got leaves all around her. She's got a butterfly on her arm and on her freaking fingers as well. Gorgeous cover. Okay. So now we move on to number four. This is another homage cover, but this just looks awesome, man. This goes to Batman issue 126, cover C done by Golium March, the cardstock variant. This pays uh, homage to the Amazing Spider-Man and Venom cover. This time we have the, the new villain by the name of Failsafe, which is not really, I guess, a villain. It's kind of like a... Um, a contingency plan in case Batman goes bad or whatever it is, and he's got to take out Batman. But I love how he's on top of Batman. Batman is in agony. He's in pain. I love the Batman logo. I love how Batman's in that corner box. Just everything about it, I love it. It screams nostalgia, screams my time. This is a cover that I got to try to find and buy. All right, so now we move on to the top three, and we get more Batman family love this week, and we have DC vs. Vampires issue eight, cover B done by Nathan Zerdy, cardstock variant. Here we got ba Barbara Gordon front and center on this cover as she's got the freaking double, um, what's it called? I forgot what those things are called, where it shoots arrows. Totally forgot. Dale from The Walking Dead used to use them all the time. It's just slipping my mind. Uh, but she's got two of them in her freaking hands, and she's going to shoot out some vampires, man. She just looks badass, kicking ass, taking names. You got the moon in the background. You got the red part in the background as well. She's got blood on her boots and on her utility belt and just on the uh, bat emblem that's herself. Gorgeous cover, man. I Hopefully, I can get this one as well. So, if this one is your favorite, let me know in the comments section below. Can't still remember what the heck those weapons are, are called, man. Coming in at number two, we have Ghost Rider issue five. This is the Mong, Mongnu variant. Um, man, I'm bad with names. Anyway, Ghost Rider looks awesome, right? He's right in his... Ghost Rider motorcycle, the spirit of vengeance. He's got the the chains that are just over exaggerated. He's got that crazy facial expression with the flames coming out from his skull. He just looks like he's gonna kill somebody there. And he's riding fast because all you see is just these lines. Man, it's awesome. It just it screams just horror, just classic Ghost Rider. I love it, man. So what's coming in at number one this week? Well, number one goes to another Spider-Man cover, and this one goes to Edge of Spider-Verse issue one, the Felipe Massavera variant A. This is absolutely gorgeous, as this is the second week in a row, right? As we get the same thing. Yeah, that's second week in a row. I just realized that back-to-back -back weeks, we got the same artist, a Spider-Man book number one. The job is done well here because this is a book of Spider-Verse. So you want to display all the characters on there. So you have Spider-Man 2099. You got Ghost Spider, Spider-Gwen, whatever she's called. You got Amazing Spider-Man. You got Spider-Man to War on there. You got Miles Morales on there. And I love how it showcases all of those characters. So that's why it's number one. It's, it's delivering its promise. The other ones are great looking covers, but it doesn't show all the other characters on there. And I love the webbing in the background. It's just a gorgeous masterpiece of art. I would love to have this as a poster. This this is definitely number one by far on this week's countdown. So if this is your favorite, guys, make sure you vote in the comments section below. I, it proves earlier in this video 
every vote matters because we were at a tie this past week and I had to break that tie or the highest ranking broke that tie. So again, every vote counts. So there you guys have it. There are the top 10 comic book covers. I'll stop rambling on now. If you guys love my content, I'll leave you more content right here to click on. And of course, guys, as always, keep buying, keep collecting, but most importantly, always read those comics. Guys, thank you so much for your participation. Take care. Bye.